Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today on another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be putting on a D-brand skin on my iPhone 10. So, uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but my style is very stealth. I don't like to be flashy, and uh, the thing is that reflects in a lot of my personal choices as well. So, I thought of uh, protecting my back of the iPhone 10. I needed something, and I decided the best way to go was a skin, but what kind of skin? So, there's, well, there's a lot of options, and honestly, uh, I wanted to go with a dragon skin, but I felt that it wouldn't look too good uh, once it was in a case anyway, so why not go for something even more subtle? So I got a matte black finish skin for my iPhone 10, and uh, it looks really cool. So what I'm going to be doing is, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I install this and just the general uh, you know about of how to do it. Also, I'd like to note that uh, the, the skin I ordered, it does come with two variants. So there is a variant that covers the entire edge edge of the phone as well and then the one that just covers the glass back now uh, I didn't want to cover up this beautiful stainless steel band since it's gonna be in a case anyways so I'm gonna be sticking to only the back glass and maybe sometime at some point in the future I will use the skin as well so let's get started and always the first step is when you're working on a phone grab something like a mouse pad so you can do the install without you know scratching your device when you're working on it so flip your phone over. First things first, as usual, what you're gonna wanna do is clean it off with a microfiber cloth. So uh, D-Brand courteously provides you one in their kit. So what you wanna do is pull it out and just give your phone a nice thorough clean. Make sure there's no dust, no contaminants, and no particles on it while you're working. And so let me just, all right, my phone is fairly clean now. So what you're gonna wanna do is the first step is lift up the skin and uh, out of this cover and what you want to do is just place it on top with the camera cut out uh, as well as the apple logo showing and what you're going to want to do now is uh, slowly place it uh, start placing it onto the skin so let me just get this onto here all right perfect what you want to do is go like this so just have the phone kind of towards you and make sure you're in a well-lit environment so you can see that Apple logo cut out. It's a little bit hard to see in dull lighting because it's into, inside the glass. So if you're in bright lighting like me, you can easily see it. So when you're placing your skin, it becomes a lot easier for you to position it and make sure that it's uh, you can see it very clearly. So let me just uh, work on that. All right. So initially, I'm seeing that I can see a little bit of glass. The entire point of these installs is that you should not be able to see anything except the skin and the cutout. So uh, they're precisioned to make sure that you don't have any extra space or anything else showing. So let me just try to work on it a little bit more. So it isn't very easy. It takes a little bit of time. The cutout is the most important thing to get right here. And uh, let me just, let me, you know what, let me just pull it even closer to me real quick. So you guys, so I can see a little bit easier here and align it a little bit more easily. You know what, I'm gonna take a different approach here. So what I'm gonna be doing now is uh, I will put on the top part of the screen and make sure that it's rounded all around the edges and there's no overlap. And since there's only the camera cut out, it's very easy to make sure everything's lined up. Let me just go about that again. All right, now definitely the challenge with a lot of these skins are to make sure that they're straight. So what you're gonna wanna do is put the paper underneath like this, and once that's underneath there, just try to straighten it out at the end and make sure that you have the same uh, straight alignment as you did at the top and everything is lining up at the bottom. Be uh, you can just kind of pull and adjust as needed here. You ha you don't have to be very gentle. You can be a little bit aggressive when you're trying to make sure that this is lined up properly. Lining it up properly means that you will have no issues with your Apple logo as well. Just go ahead and pull it down and make sure everything is there. So again, always center outwards when you're trying to put these down. So I have this secured. So let me see. The moment of truth, I am going to pull the uh, paper out of here now and let's see what, whether or not we have a decent alignment on the Apple logo. And again, always center outward, so just gently from the center out and 
awesome. It looks like we have a very, very precise Apple cutout. Now what you're going to want to do is, since this is a curved edge phone, uh, we are going to have to heat up the edges here to kind of push them down and make sure that they stay in place secure to the device. So let me just heat up the edges here. It's best to go one edge by one edge so you don't have to uh, worry about too much. Heat it up for about two to three seconds and then just move on. So let me just get to it. You can just use the microfiber cloth that you got from D brand to make sure and just push the skin down. I'm gonna use this, there we go. And just move on and do each of the corners. Also do take a little bit of special care at these corners and apply some heat in those corners especially and place them down. There we go. All right, now let me just do this quickly and come back to you guys. All right guys, so once you have all the corners properly, uh, you know, just uh, folded over on the edges, the last thing I'm gonna say, uh, the last thing you guys will have to do is just rub along the edges of the skin to make it a little bit seamless into the phone. Uh, so again, it's always a good idea to turn off your phone before you do this because I just accidentally activated emergency calling right there. So just always turn off your phone and uh, especially when you're messing around with the buttons over there. That's a wrap for this video guys. Let me know what you think of this skin color. Should I have gone with something a little bit more fancy or should I... Did I make the right call by getting a stealthy skin? Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I have a lot more coming. Uh, follow me on social media for all behind the scenes photos and just random day-to-day -day stuff. All the links are down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.